New at six, faded family memories gone in an instant. When this house came crashing down, we have been on top of the story since the city condemned the building yesterday when it started to cave into the ground. NBC 10's Matt Delucia is live outside where that house stood in Fishtown. And Matt, you spoke with the family as they tried to save what they could. And Denise, this is a home where the entire Clank family would gather together for Sunday dinner tonight. Look at it. It is a pile of rubble. They had just minutes to grab what they could. This morning, it was a race against the clock. Inside the home on East Thompson Street, photos show large cracks, a house on the verge of collapse due to construction work next door. We got some things out of the third floor and the second floor. With the house condemned, the Clanks only had a half hour. Today, we might thought as much as we could from the house. Photos, toys, old stuff, even arts and crafts. And we were going through our stuff in a room and we found the thing. Her grandmother's room. At 94 years old, this was her house for 62 years. I spent probably more time in this house than I did in my own. Like, and that's the kind of house it was. It wasn't just like, oh, your grandparents lived there, you checked in. Like, it was a Sunday night dinner, stay there from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. playing games. <laughs> fighting with your family. So they watched together. In a cloud of dust. The home is there. It's just got to rebuild, you know? It's something material. Thank God my mother wasn't killed. Thank God my brother and sister weren't killed. And from tears came laughter. Oh my God, somebody made a copy of our New Year's resolutions. A reminder that a house is more than bricks and wood. A lot of memories. Yeah, more memories than I would say an average house has. Saving what they can down to the bricks. They're going to put the house right back where it was. And build a new house with a piece of home. It's not like we're going to move. <laughs> it's fish town. It's our neighborhood. It's our house. Hmm. And the 94-year-old matriarch of the family is staying with one of her sons tonight. L&I inspectors were here today as well, investigating what went wrong. Live in Fishtown tonight, Matt Delusha, NBC 10 News.